Amen. You may be seated. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we are going to do what? Rejoice. And be glad. Rejoice. And be glad. Do what? Rejoice. Say it like you mean it. Rejoice. And be glad. In it. Let's clap our hands and praise God. favorable week that he has given us. Amen. The praise reports, we thank God for them. Amen. For every praise report lets us know that he is still in the miracle working business. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord for that. Um, uh, also, I want to thank God and I want to thank the Costellos for allowing us to use their Jordan River on yesterday. <laughs> we went down to the River of Jordan and um, we, we had several baptisms. I think it was five of them. So yes, sir. Five, five baptisms and we were elated about that because the angels are rejoicing and the kingdom is being blessed for every soul that comes to God. Amen. Amen. I'm just so happy. I went to bed feeling great in my spirit, Amen. knowing that uh, us, these souls have given their heart to God. And even the two that rededicated themselves, still it's good to know that you would even want to rededicate yourself. Amen. It's a plus in the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 It's, we thank you, Lord, for uh, our services. I believe God is training us to trim them for soon, and very soon, we'll be having two services. Amen. And early morning and morning service, and it will be on schedule. Everything will be right on time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can't wait for that day. Soon Amen. we'll be in our Amen. in the land of milk and honey. Yeah. Amen. Be in our building soon. Yeah. Won't it be grand? Yes, it will. Amen. Well, let's, let's open the book, the Word of God, to Deuteronomy chapter thirty. Now, I mean, how many have had challenges this week? I know we had praise reports, but how many have had challenges this, this past week? Raise your hand. Oh, so you had challenges. Whether they be personal, uh, on the job, or family related, uh, or whatever. You know, a challenge is a challenge. And it causes us to react. We have a challenge that causes us to react. Yes. So how do you react? <laughs> you react? Use them with your words, with what you say. So when things get wrong and go bad, we vocalize how we feel, you know? And I mean, maybe somebody was promised a raise and you didn't get a raise. So what do we say? <laughs> we ain't gonna get no raise. I knew that. I knew that from the get go. Wasn't gonna get no raise. He could have told me, "Hey, I know. I know these people. I work for. They ain't gonna give me no raise. They cheat. <laughs> That's all. They cheat. Or uh, your children disobey you, or they do something wrong." A lot of us will vocalize it. Well, they, you know, he's just like his father. 
and his father was no good, so what do you think? You know, chip off the old block. Yeah. You know, that's 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 these are words that come out of our mouth. <coughs> now, I mean, you know, I'm not standing up here telling you why. I'm, I'm, I'm actually in the spirit realm now. I'm, I'm in your living room, and in your in your backyards, and everything. You know. The spirit knows what's happening at all times, you know. And uh, or a bill, uh, you know, you don't have enough money for a bill to be paid. You know, I, you know, you know, we're talking about a debt-free. <laughs> it ain't gonna be debt-free. I'll be in debt to the day I die. <laughs> yeah, you know, we. I'll be in debt for the. How many know that? One? I'll be in debt for the day. Till the day I die, I'll be in that day. You know, they might as well face it. You know, I got these had these bills a long time, and you know, I'm just stuck with them. That's it. I'm just stuck. You know, and, uh, you know, not unless I, you know, uh, I, 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 not unless I go out and I shoot some dice or something. Maybe I might hit, hit something. But, you know, or I could go on and on and on about the negative things. That, now you think about it. Has anyone, how many has spoken a negative word this past week? Now be honest, you know, be honest. You know what? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, that's it, be honest. And you can repent, yes, repent, and continue on and speak positive. Now in the word of God in Deuteronomy, it tells us a few things. Uh, We thank you, Father, for this time that we've come to delve into the wells of salvation. And we ask, dear God, that you would just bless us now with a word from on high. Speak to us with what you want us to have to hear. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Uh, two sidebars. Sidebar right in the beginning. Sidebar. Here, there's a few sidebars just to get you kind of focused. Found uh, an example, some examples of communication. Communication is so important in our lives. Do you know that? Communication. When you shut up, that just causes havoc. Uh, it can cause havoc in your own personal lives when you just shut up and refuse to communicate. Uh, somebody might tell you, you know, well, uh, you know, please take this note to give and give it to my mother because she's going to need it. You take the note, say, oh, I'll do it. You take the note. You don't tell her that you have a note for her. You don't say nothing. You just put the note up on your dresser and just go on and forget about things. As far as you're concerned, that note's not important. But it is important, and communication is important. So we have some things to, in speaking about communication. The City National Bank of Binghamton, New York, sent flowers to management of Binghamton Savings Bank, congratulating the latter institution upon the opening of its new facilities. But unfortunately, the card accompanying the flowers read, deepest sympathy. So somebody sent some flowers to this national bank, savings bank that was opening up, and it says, deepest sympathy. Then later, the florist who made the mistake called the bank to apologize. What really worried him, he added, was the other bouquet of flowers intended for a funeral and carrying the message intended for the bank, saying, congratulations on your new location. <laughs> so, kind of mix up in communication there. When you say so. <laughs> Congratulate, congratulating a, a bank on the, oh, 
got things all mixed up. Or there's another one here, dog with five. You know, I want to ask you, the Bible talks about riddles. I believe there's a, several individuals in the Word of God that uh, use riddles. And riddles were used in their life. Do you know? Do you know who? Who? Daniel. Samson. Yeah, riddles. You know, riddles is. Well, Abraham Lincoln had a favorite riddle he used to put to his colleagues. And it went like this. If a man were to call the tail of a dog a leg, how many legs would the dog have? The man was to call his He's called the tail of his dog a leg. How many legs would the dog have? One. How many say five? How many say one? Anybody have anything else to say? <laughs> the answer is four. Oh, I think Sister Ann was the third one. First one I heard that was picking up on it. Yeah. So he said he called it. Because the, the thing is this, you know, just because he calls the tail a leg doesn't mean it's a leg. That's right. <laughs> there you go. Just because he calls the dog's tail a leg does not mean it's a leg. <laughs> and so many times I've heard my parents use that with regards to things I did wrong. You know, just because you call it something don't mean it's something. You know, we could really learn from the things that happen around us. Amen. I want to focus on verse 19. I set before you Deuteronomy chapter 30. I set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Mm -hmm. We see by the scripture that it's God's permissive will that comes into play. He will always give us a choice, but he will never force anything on us. Let's read the rest of that verse again. Therefore, choose life. And as I said before, he not only gives us A, B, C, or D, but he gives us the answer. Church, life is the answer. Of course, we can choose the path that we want to take. But if we choose the wrong one, it will be long before we start becoming cold and indifferent. Not the life the Lord wants us to have at all. Jonah was a good example. God had a plan for Jonah to go and preach in Nineveh. But he didn't want to go God's way. He wanted to go his way. I mean, yes. How many times we want to go our way? Yes. You don't want to go God's way. You want to go the Burger King way. <laughs> Have it your way. That's right. So many times you try to school your children as to which way to go, but they have it, would rather have it their way. And then down the road, when they get into trouble, they come around looking sheepish. <laughs> and subdued. But God had a plan for Jonah to go and preach in Nineveh. But Jonah was determined to go in a different direction. In verse 3 of chapter 1, it says, He did rise up to flee into Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Well, he started off well, but he rose up. He rose up. Then was the time for a good choice, the moment he got up. But he chose something very different. It's never a good idea to leave the presence of the Lord. After that, it records that he went down to Joppa. Then he went down into the ship. Then he went down into the sides of the ship. You get the picture? He continued to go down, 
down, down. And we all know what else is down. If you keep going down. Can I get a witness today? Amen. Life can be a beautiful thing. It can be a wonderful thing when we choose life. Does that mean that we won't have problems? No. Because we live in a sin-cursed world. Bad things happen to good people. But with the Lord, our life will always be happier in a happier way. We still have to face the trials that come our way with all the faith that we have knowing that joy comes in the morning. Yes. Can I get a witness today? Yes. We can be sure that when, we, when the bad times come that it will get better because the Lord will be there to help us. Amen. We can choose to live life to the fullest. Believe God's word and stand on his promises or we can choose death that is full of depression, despair, which really no life at all. It's just existing. We should live such a positive life while we're here touching lives for the better. That when we're gone, they'll remember us as someone who was, or that was fun to be around, someone they like to spend time with. In Proverbs 8 and 35, the Lord tells us, For whoso findeth me findeth life, yes. and shall obtain favor, the favor of the Lord. Yes. When Jesus becomes real in our lives, when we can surrender all, that's when we find life. Because he is life. And without him, there's nothing but death. Right. Gotta get a witness to that. Even after we've made him Lord, we're still going to make mistakes, bad decisions, wrong choices. But if we're repentant and ask for forgiveness, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The Lord came to this earth to die for us on the cross so that we could have life and have it more abundant. You might say, well, I died for the Lord. But I say to you, he doesn't want you to die for him. He wants you to live for him. Yes. Oh, yes, live for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Kind of reminds me of that old hymn we used to sing when I was coming up as a little boy. Living for Jesus. Living for Jesus. You might be thinking, why am I not living in the abundant life? Why is it that I'm not enjoying the blessings of God? It could be because you're not receiving it. Or you're not letting doubt. You are letting doubt that is creep in. And feelings of unworthiness oh praise his mighty name on, but if you have received Jesus as Savior and Lord you are a son or a daughter of God yes. don't let the devil tell you that you don't deserve a happy life right. that you're damaged goods that God can never forgive all you've done that those are lies from the pits of hell yes. Don't listen to the enemy. He will try to take you down with him. Yes, and when we take God's word and apply it to our lives, it's pleasing to the Lord. Yes. I want you to be reminded of the words of Paul in Galatians 2 and 20, where it says, I am crucified with Christ, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Hallelujah. I pray that the day that you all will choose life. Can I get a witness today? Amen. Choose life. Deuteronomy 30, verses 15 to 20 says, See, I have set before you this day. I have set before you this day. Good and death 
and evil. And that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God and to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments that thou mayest live and multiply and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. I don't know about you, but I'm going to a land to possess it. I'm on my way to a land to possess it. Can I get a witness today? Are you on your way to that land? But if thine heart turn away, and if thou wilt not hear, but shalt be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish, and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land whether thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. Yes. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. That both thou and thy seed may live. That thou mayest love the Lord thy God. And that thou mayest obey his voice. And thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life. Yes. And the length of thy days. That thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers. To Abraham. Isaac. And to Jacob yes, sir. to give them. Oh, praise his mighty name. Amen. I want you to re also be reminded of the scripture in Proverbs 18, verse 21, where it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, yes. and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. On, I want you to know that whatever you speak out of your mouth, that it shall be. So we need to learn how to speak life. Amen. We need to practice how to speak life. Yeah. We need to pray in order to speak life. Yes. Oh yes, speak life, speak life. Turn to your neighbor, tell your neighbor, it's time for you to speak life. Turn to your other neighbor, tell your other neighbor, I said it's time for you to speak life. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Ah, yes, it reminds me of the scripture in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 to 7. It says, in the year that King Isaiah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne. I also saw the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up. And his train filled the temple. And above it stood the seraphims. And each one had six wings. And with twain covered his face. That is, with two wings it covered his face. And with twain covered his feet. With two wings he covered his feet. And with twain he did fly. And with two wings they were used for flying. And one cried to the other, said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Yes, sir. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, woe is me, for I'm undone, because I'm a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Yeah. For mine eyes have seen the king the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims. I said, then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth. And he said, lo, this has touched thy lips. Thine iniquity is taken away. And thy sin is purged. People of God. We can speak life yes, because the serpent has taken from off the altar yes. the Holy Ghost yes. and the Holy Ghost touches our mouth. Yes. And then by a touch in our mouth, amen, 
we can say that our iniquity is taken away and my sin is purged and whatever I speak shall be when it comes out of my mouth can I get a witness today so if you're looking for a job you need to say job you are here for me speak life if you're looking for money you say money you are here for me speak life Somebody said it, took it up and said it this way. Behold, money cometh. Money cometh. Money cometh. For the kingdom of God. Money cometh. Somebody praise his name. Money cometh. For the kingdom of God. I said money cometh. Money cometh. Money cometh. You got to say it like you mean it. Because it's for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his mighty name. My, my, my money. Certainly money coming. Baba Shando. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise his name. I believe that a miracle is on its way. Uh-huh. I said I believe that a miracle is on its way. And I believe that the money is coming for the kingdom of God. I believe that the land that flows from... from, from of milk and honey is there for us. Can I get a witness? I said, can I get a witness? Hallelujah. My Savior, my God. Amen. Amen. Praise his name. I'm telling you, God is a good God. I said, he's a good God. He is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Amen. 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 Ah, yes, 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 yes. Speak life. Yes, sir. Speak life. When you wake up in the morning, speak life. Yes. When you're in your dormitory, you have to wake up and get ready for school. You have to go to classes and you haven't studied like you should have studied. Things got all mixed up and you couldn't put the time in that you should have. Oh, I'm telling you right now, you can speak life. Yes, sir. Speak life. Yes, sir. And God will come to your rescue. He will put the life in you so that you can take the test and pass the test. In the name of Jesus. All you got to do is speak life. Speak life. And don't let any negativity get in there whatsoever. Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise his mighty name. I believe today that many of you are going to be able to speak life and that it will come to pass in your life. I, but do you believe it? Do you believe it? If you believe it, stand up on your feet. Go to three people. High five them and let them know to speak life. Speak life. Speak life. Say it like you mean it. All you got to do is speak it And he'll do the rest You can get up singing He's an on time God Yes he is He's an on time God Yes he is Yes, he is. He's a right now, God. Yes, he is. Oh, he woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. He's a long time, God. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. 
Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, he woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. He's an on time now. Yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Well, you woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. I said, he's an on time. I said, he's an on time. Yes, he is.